Hi everybody, this is Baha. Welcome to the first presentation on R programming. In this presentation, I'll try to cover very basic things like what is R, why we use R, and how we start R. So let's see what is R. So R is programming language. R is a data analysis tool and R is a visualization tool. So actually R is a programming language and environment with provers, data analysis, and visualization. But sometimes, some of the experts say R is a domain-specific language because it provides very, very strong features for data analysis and uh, visualization. So for statistics, statistical analysis. So let's see why we use R. No, first thing is R is free, it's open source. And it runs a variety of platforms like Windows, Linux, Mac, and R provides very, R is very good for unstructured and structured data. So most of the time we have unstructured data, like after simulation, you have the output of the simulation as unstructured data or the raw data. So we need to convert that unstructured data to the structured data. So R gives you lots of features to do that so that we can get from from a raw data to the required data. Then we can ne we need the visualize of those data for analysis. So R also gives you the lots of uh, functions for visualize those data. So we said that R it provides a variety of statistical and graphical methods and you can also extend, you can also write your own functions in R. So R is very useful for big data or any kinds of data analysis. So now see how we start that uh, R. So to do programming with R, we need to download and install the R first. So to install the R, you can use this link. And if you go this link, after installation, you will see an R environment. This is our graphical user environment. And if you use this link to install R, this is R Studio. So you will see some um, environment like this. This is R Studio. So now let's see how we install R. So to install R, so just use this. Link copy and just paste it. So this is basically R project site. So in this here, download the CRN. So click the CRN, you will get the all the mirror. So click our cloud R project. So here you can see the R for Linux, R for Mac or R for Windows. So if you install the Windows, click that. So for install R for the first time, so go here and click the download R.3.25. It will start downloading in your computer. And the second one is R Studio. See, so let's copy this link. So he, this is the R Studio site, and download R Studio. So two types of R Studio: R Studio for desktop and R Studio for server. So to start working, I suggest to download this R Studio for desktop then download so here you will see different types of like r for windows mac or ubuntu or fedora so it just click the same thing it will start again downloading in your computer so i already have downloaded both of this the r and r studio so to install the r or r studio just double click this and run so it will ask for permission, yes. So it will ask English. 
so then okay then again okay so just go okay and okay it will automatically install everything so next like this so i have installed i will show you that for you so now cancel yes cancel so you can cancel this so i already have installed so r so if you install the r from the first link you will see some environment or r console like this so and if you install the r studio you will see r studio and r studio is this so it's coming so here so you also are studio so this is console and uh, if you need any help you can get here or if you plot after uh, uh, any analysis you will see it here and this is the global environment and we will see gradually everything uh, for the next video and next tutorials so i will go through gradually in d from the r so and i think this is for this environment uh, this uh, tutorial and so so in this tutorial we, i try to cover basically why we learn r again because most of us know something else we know other programming language some of us some of us already using excel some of are using spss so here i try to say why we will learn to r and just start how to install so i hope it will help you and and i hope you will watch my next video and thank you everybody see you in the next video thank you very much